25 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett, and we will be here, hopefully, until midnight tonight. But as we start off today, we want to start off with somebody we usually start off with. All right, let's do something we always do. Let's call Stephen Pearl, okay? Here we go. Let me see here. Um, uh, bu- 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 is it calling him? Is it calling him? Let me see here. Now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is it calling? It should be calling. Are you there? Um, no, it's a camera. Hello. 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 Is this a bus station? Yeah. 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 What time you got buses leaving for Sheboygan? Hello. <laughs> I got nothing clever today. You got nothing clever today. I got something clever for you. Say hello. What you say, say hello, Larry. What? It's your old friend, Larry Bubbles Brown. Oh, yeah. it's Bubbles. It's Bubbles. Nah, Bubbles from the Big Red Bridge. Say, nah. Yeah, I thought I'd get well, lazy. I, damn today. I hear you own the place now. I, well, I work here and there more than I did up there. It's a it's a oh, wonderful great. it's a it's a it's a winter wonderland. So yeah, Pitta <laughs> wants to move down here. He called me the other day. The floodgates have opened. Pitta wants. I heard a bunch of people are going there. Then now rents are starting to go up there. They're going up everywhere. There's nothing you can do about that. It's not nearly as bad as uh, it is up there, of course. And the, the, there's only certain places where you walk in. You walk in syringes and feces and bodies. They're they're all cordoned <laughs> off. <laughs> Not ever. This is my impression of walking down. Feces and syringes. Yeah, this is walking down Market Street. Feces, syringe, dead guy, passed out guy. Feces, syringe, dead guy, passed out guy. <laughs> Soon the Throckmorton Theater will be an empty warehouse full of cobwebs and memories. <laughs> Everyone would have moved to Vegas and I started it. Oh, why, why, why? Hey, uh, uh, Stephen, uh, back off your phone just a little bit because you're louder than Hello, Larry. How's the, yeah. I know, how's, how's this? That's how's the talk softer? Much better. <laughs> <laughs> much better. So when's the last time you talked I'm to Larry? When's the last time you talked to Larry? Probably over a year ago when I was up there. I haven't been up there enough yeah, since I moved. Well, I, I moved and then. Yeah, we miss you, buddy. I said I moved. And I moved, and then a week later, I came back up there to do the Throckmorton Comedy Day. Then I came back down again. And I've been down ever since. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing, there's nothing up there for me, man. There's just insane rents, and uh, there's hardly any gigs. In fact, when there is a gig, they usually it's usually uh, the mighty, <laughs> the holy trinity. It's usually Bubbles, uh, Pitta, or, uh, or uh, Johnny Steele up there. Yeah. So they got they, those guys have those guys have the the three students have the town sewn up. So <laughs> <laughs> there's one guy who books is just these guys and nobody else. Who's that guy? John, whatever his name is. Tonight, Bubbles. Tonight, Johnny Steele. Tonight, Mark Pitta. The next week, Johnny Steele. Okay. Tonight, Bubbles will have line. Next week, Johnny Steele will have line. And the week after that, Pitta can have line. And we'll switch it around. Is there the only two three guys I book? <laughs> is he? We don't get that much work. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did. That. Nah, nah the only time I look at this, some of their tonight, it's Bubbles and Johnny Steele and, uh, and, what, and uh, the other guy, the other pivot. Yeah. The same three guys, they keep booking over and over. So you guys, I, I would stay up there since you got it sewn up, baby. We got to bring the dinosaur show to Vegas. Yeah, I can't wait to make $100 down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I do the Throckmorton once a year, which is a great gig, and uh, then I, I do we do like the the punchline once or twice a year. Then that was it. I know there's nothing up here. Hey, there's nothing up there. It's it's over. It ended in the nineties, man. Fuck, I don't want to be up there anymore. And I found it kind of depressing. I was kind of like, it felt like when I went back up there, I felt like I was going back to high school. You know, like, I don't want to be back here again. It's just, it's got to be a, another place. And, since, uh... Since it, 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 you out in the competition, it died. There you go. It could have been me, baby. I could have been on BET. It could have been me wearing a purple suit. But no. I, 
I was trying to think that time was 85. That was, uh, it was Sinbad, Ellen, you, Kravitz, and Evan Davis. Yep, that's right. You got it. And guess who won, ladies and gentlemen? Guess who won out of that group? Give, give the group again, uh, Bubbles. Who was there? Sinbad, Ellen DeGeneres, Stephen Pearl, Stephen Kravitz, Evan Davis. Okay, those were the, the people competing in the finals of the comedy competition. Who do you think won, ladies and gentlemen? Tell them, Bubbles. Uh, Sinbad. Yes. Sinbad. Yeah, he showed Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> he sure showed her what she done since then. Nothing. You know, I, I, but wait, 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 wait. Hasn't that always been the case with the comedy competition? I mean, uh, there was a year that Robin Williams was in it in the very beginning, and who? Somebody else that was won. The yeah, first that, one. Yeah. That was the, the first, first one. Bill Farley beat him. Some guy named Bill Farley beat him and was never heard of again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I think he's working in men's warehouse now. What are some of the other failures? Some of the other people who who lost and then uh, went on to great stuff, and the people who won didn't. Oh, I, th- I think I think Roseanne came in like thirty first out of thirty. I think Steve Wright came in like almost dead last or something. Uh, these right. these no talent bums who had nowhere. Yeah, and uh, there's there's got to be some others. Yeah, so it it never it never really produced stars, did it? No, it no. The, the, uh, people, people were the, the stars. The stars that came out of it were already like kind of on their way and already very good at the time. So it never made any stars. Yeah, they said um, the best that I know was uh, '87, which Warren Thomas won, mm-hmm. and it was Rick Reynolds, Rob Becker, Rob Schneider, and Tom Kenny. Now I was. The you were ju- the judge. I was the judge in the finals, and I never wanted to be a judge because I knew that I nobody would agree with the result if I was a judge, and they didn't. You know, oh, he, the only reason Warren Thomas won is because he's Alex's friend. Exactly. And I yeah. uh, I went <laughs> there, I went there with my girlfriend Xanthi. It was on one side of me, and uh, my friend. Uh, Shecky from the Letterman show who was on the other side of me and I said look I'm going to vote here and if any if you think that I'm voting wrong or that I'm voting my own personal preferences you know uh let me know and so I voted this way and that way and this way and that way and they they said you voted perfectly you voted like we would have voted um but what happened was it, it, it was a combination of the votes from two nights and both nights, uh, Warren Thomas came in second, but somebody else came in first the first night and fir- somebody else first the second night, so it didn't average out, but the average of the being second made him the winner. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, they had that weird the numbers like, hmm? It's like Trump winning the election. It just <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. And, and so... Uh, the- this year, they had the biggest debacle was... Uh, some girl won the uh, last the final night. She won, and then an hour later, they discovered they discovered they'd made a mistake. Everybody was gone, and she turned out she she lost. Oh really? Oh, like the Oscars. Oh, oh really? Oh boy. An hour and a half after the fact. Well, yeah, I, never, the I never. I never. have to send a, they send a carrier pigeon to her house with the bad news or something. Well, I, I <laughs> jumped out the window that night. I never liked. I never liked the comedy competition. I, I can't I, believe they I still have it. The worst, they brought the worst out in everybody. Yeah. Oh, it was ugly. It was, it was the beast. It was the ugly beast. Yeah, and somehow you felt you had to do it, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, they, I was made a deal. I was told I would headline like this many times if I did it, and I was told I would also uh, be a finalist no matter what. And one night I looked at the scores, and they were juggled in my favor. This is an 85. So. Wow. If you're all going to be in my new book, bust, busting the whole scene wide open. Well, I just, I never knew that it was that crooked. You know, I, I, know. I, and I, I was like a really Chicago really election in the 20s, man. <laughs> what, 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 what? Nah, what? The problem is the problem says, man, see a mark's going to win. Say, man. What, what were you saying, Bubbles? I didn't know that they guaranteed you a spot in the finals. Oh yeah, sure. They said you'll be a, you'll be a finalist, and this will happen, and this will happen, and this will happen, and they kept their words. So <laughs> yeah, it was crooked. Eh? Johnny Rocco was the judge. Right? <laughs> the guys are coming back. Same. Right? 
Oh, oh boy. Good. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Too much. This is like it's like being at the sugar plum without the coke. Yeah, but I I just I just felt that the only competition that it, that is real is is the competition of being good and maybe getting to the next level in the comedy business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, <laughs> I never got there, but I read about it. No, but, but do you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's that's the kind yeah. of competition. If you're going to talk about a comedy competition, that's the kind of competition that that, that counts yeah, in the, the end. The contest was formed to make the foxes money and. There you have it. So yeah. Yeah. Who owns it now? The Foxes still own it, or do they sell it out? I think they. I think they still own it. It's, it's like owning the same car from 1978. What, what were you saying? <laughs> Bubble, barely runs, but they still own it. Let me let me defer to Bubbles here because he's got the weaker signal of the two of you. Uh, okay, well, he has the clam pop, the clam show. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> you know that's the Bubbles. problem. He's got the fucking clam shell. You've got an iPhone. Right? I know. Bubbles has to turn the wind on. Hello, Sarah. Get me AOL. <laughs> it's Landline Larry. It's the only... It's Landline the, Larry. Oh, he, he has the... Landline Larry. His, 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 um, his uh, uh, cell phone is so old. How old is it? That there's a crank on it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that Sarah to give him a number. There's an yeah. operator. His name is Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Can you hear me? Uh, would you give me uh, so-and-so? <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Mount Pilot. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they have a rally now. They're on. They're all in the clan house. Gee, I never. I'm. I'm old, but I never had a crank phone. I never had one of those phones a crank. That went back to the very I beginning, those. I think. But anyway, I mean, you know, I just I always consider the the comedy competition just a complete and utter farce. Uh, and, oh, it was evil every August. And that year, shuttered. that year when Warren won, it was like they were having a lynch mob after me. You know. <laughs> And that's Get why, that, and that's why I didn't want to do it. I mean, the Foxes; these were the people who ran the comedy competition. Every year, begged me to be be a a, a judge, and every year I uh -huh. said, "No, I don't want to be a judge because I don't want to have to judge people that I like or that I know, or judge people that I can't stand." Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, I got to MC it, so I got to decide who got the encore point, who I, didn't. <laughs> I can't remember, but I, I think I eighty six. I think I did um, um, judge a preliminary or an early on, and they had the um, uh, uh, Frank Olivier, who was uh, what did he do? He was uh, like a unicyclist or something. I don't know. Yeah. He did, uh, but he and and I gave him a zero. And they said, "Why did you give him? A, why did you give him a zero? I said, "Because we're judging comedy acts, not jugglers." Wow, you know. Yeah. And and I said, "You asked me to judge a comedy act, so I'm I am judging him on his comedic content, of which there was there absolutely go. none. He's a good juggler." <laughs> wow. Well, am I right you or been the juggler's comedy? No, but am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, it's not stand up. I would have given him a couple let, 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 him a little cup, maybe a point or two. <laughs> Zero is kind of wow. Let Bubbles talk here. <laughs> Bub, you, Bubs? you made a statement, which I agree with. Bubs? Well, you're right. he shouldn't have been in it because it's not stand up. So. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I mean, yeah, but, uh, well, yeah, although the amazing Jonathan was uh, a comedy act. He was, yeah. He was, was hilarious, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. You know, but I remember that, that those, con those in the '80s, those things got such huge crowds. They were enormous. Mm -hmm. Well, comedy in general, in the Bay Area, got got a lot of press and a lot of crowds and a lot of coverage. So well, I mean, it ain't like that no more. It, in in the Bay Area, comedy when I was associated with it, it was almost like rock and roll. It's like you were holding a rock it was, concert. And they had. Uh, I remember for the preliminary rounds they they had agents and people coming up from la to scout us and i remember sure. they had a bunch of us to go over and read for that that horrible movie howard the duck <laughs> oh god i don't remember that oh. well let's see i think and who did they got put in it monty got in that's how bad the movie monty was. and kravitz <laughs> kravitz got in it too Kravitz got in it too. Let's yeah. put Monty. Let's put a rapist in the movie. Yeah, be a good idea to have a rapist in the movie. Let's put the rapist Monty Hoffman in the movie. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Just want to remind people. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be a huge hit. <laughs> well, no. Here's what happened. I, I, 
I was uh, I was approached by the producers. They said we're going to do our final scene at the uh, uh, the Warfield Theater uh, because it's a big concert that Howard the Duck is involved in, and we need to get an audience there. So I, I, they had me promote on the air that right after the show we were going to go over and there was good. We, if you want to be in a movie, come on down. And we managed to fill the place yeah. with about 500, 600 people. <laughs> and I'm very proud of this. I'm sitting there and they, they bring out the, all the, the people to start doing their scene, right? And then out comes this guy in a duck costume. And I look at the, uh, one of the producers of the show who I'm dealing with and I said, uh, uh, that's the duck, right? He says, yeah. I said, but you're going to replace that with animation, right? That's just like a stand-in for the animation. He said, no, that's the duck. Oh, my God. And I looked at him, and I said, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> like yeah, the beat Japanese like flick from the 60s. What, what were you going to say, Bob? Like something from the 99 <laughs> store, and this was, uh, this was... Yeah. And it was a Lucas production. Yeah, it was a Lucas production, but the thing was that uh, they... Uh, the concept of Howard the Duck in the comic book was he was a cartoon duck in a real world. Okay, yeah. so you should have animated the duck. That, that, that that's just yeah. the way it was written. And no, they didn't. They had a guy in a fucking duck costume, and, and that tanked the movie. If they if he had been animated, they would have been two years ahead of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Sure, that's right. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think uh, Lucas was involved in the animation in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You know, so uh, he knew yeah. how to do that kind of thing, and they didn't do it. It was stupid. It was just stupid. And the film it came out, bad. and it was, of course, the worst thing that Lucas ever did. He he likes to doesn't like to admit he even made it. You know, <laughs> so, you know, if you had a best of George Lucas DVD set, Howard the Duck would not be on it. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew that when I saw him at Robin's wedding. <laughs> hey, how's Howard the Duck, George? How come you're not going to release Howard the Duck, George? And we'll walk by the table. How's said, Howard? Uh, what? what I you thought s- you said you went over to that Lucas place in Marin once, and you, you were told that no one was supposed to mention Howard That's the Duck. That's correct. They said, do not mention Howard the Duck while you're here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There's a picture of him on a sign and it'll circle and a line through it. Do not mention. You know, and I, I was I was in the commissary and, and Lucas was sitting there at the table next to me and I was going to say, how about that Howard the Duck? I, uh, you know. <laughs> next thing the shot of you being bobbly thrown out the door. There's, hey, there's, there's, there's a great story about Lucas. So there's this. Uh, he used to hold movies in the in the basement of uh, of uh, the the ranch. Uh, of the big house on the ranch, it, it was a beautiful little theater, and uh, the, but they didn't. A bunch of these guys didn't like the movie, so they said, "Come on, let's go." And they got out, and they they were walking by Lucas's office, and they said, "Let's go in there." <laughs> and they went in, and they one of them sat at the desk with his feet up on the desk, and they noticed that Lucas had some cigars, so they broke out the cigars and started smoking them. Somebody walked in, busted their ass. They were all fired from Lucas, uh, from Lucasfilm, and they went out and started a special effects company called. Are you ready for this? And you can look for it. It's in some movies. There, there was this credit, "Banned from the Ranch." Banned from the Ranch. I like that. <laughs> For Lucasville. That's a <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 are there any questions you want to ask Pearl, uh, Bubs, since you've got him here? You haven't seen him in a long time. No, I just want to see him again. He's a <laughs> uh, there's nothing, there's nothing, nothing, what am I going to do? They, they booked me up there for like a $100 gig. <laughs> spend, well, spend money on the well, rental car and a plane. I'll... I think I'm coming down to Vegas in January, so maybe I'll see you then. Oh, uh, you don't want to give up that nice apartment? You got it made up there. No, he stay, didn't, stay he didn't there. say don't he, wait a minute, wait a here. Believe me. Pearl, Suddenly. he didn't say he was moving to Vegas. He said he was coming to Vegas. 
him. I like it here. I'm working here, and I'm working when I want. Well, the, the, the holiday season's a little thin, but I got some good shit happening Bob in was, December and January. B- Bob's and then I'm back yeah. on track. Every night, I look on the Facebook. Bob, Bob's will. I, I could go. I could, if I was with the guest shots, I could do that. I like to get paid, so I, I usually just hold out for the pay gigs. But they're there, and there's like a million clubs I haven't played yet I'm trying to get into. So. Bob's but it's great. It's a 24-hour <laughs> town. I join the gym. I work out at 4 in the morning when I want. It's nicer. Bubs will uh, be dying in that apartment in San Francisco with that clamshell. Well, he should. With, with they that, can't raise the rent on him. With that, with, with that clamshell phone in his hand, you know, <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying, to, in the other room. trying to call nine one one, but it couldn't get a signal. You know, I mean. because he, he couldn't find the eleven. <laughs> Mummified hooker under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> like when they found you fed Vickers. Oh, no. So, but, uh, uh, yeah, but Bubs, Bubs has been smart. You know, he, he kind of uh, planted his feet in San Francisco and in a way that he can never move, really. I mean, you even if he moves no, he somewhere, can't. he wouldn't give up that apart. Yeah, Location, location, location. He's got here. What'd you say? Prime gig. Stay what'd there. You, like, you, I've, I've literally imprisoned myself here with his rent control. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because once you leave, you can't come back. It's like it's like Mulligan's Bar. You, know? you got to stay there. You know, we got to. You're the guy they use. You and uh, Johnny and Mark stay there. The, the three, the Trinity, stay stay there in San Francisco. We You'll have be to. Fine. We have to get. We have to get you an iPhone, uh, uh, Bubs, because. Then you can be as loud as Pearl is right now, you know. <laughs> you can, can have all the fun you want on one of these. It's like a whole system here. No, there, one little, one there, is right in there is a difference because iPhones have a, a really terrific, uh, 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 not only s- s- the signal has nothing to do with it, but the the, uh, the, the way in which the, the microphone works and everything in, his, in an iPhone is so much better than the old phones that we used to have, like the oh, clamshells. They take, they take, it's insane. They take pictures as clear as a Nikon. You know, you can make great video. You do everything. You know. Yeah, but the thing is, though, that when they sell those phones now, they don't sell them for the fact that you really get a good signal and you can hear somebody really nicely on the yeah. other side. of. No, they say, oh, it takes great pictures. It's got so many pixels. We got three cameras in it. Yeah. And I'm going, I'm going, you're buying a camera now. You're not that happens to make a phone call, you know. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. By the way, way by way, the way, Bubs, Bubs, he's, he's make phone call. on your on your phone, do you get text messages? Oh, I can text, but it just takes a while because I got to hit the button three times for what each letter. <laughs> With bubbles, it's hieroglyphics. You know, bird, sun, eyeball, <laughs> guy walking. <laughs> Bubbles says, "Oh, uh, I'm eat. Old time behind her This is like. Oh, the, from Cleopatra. The Queen wants it. This is like the old days. This feels really, really <laughs> good. Lived. This feels really good. It's like the old days, guys. You know. Uh, it's like the old days. Yeah. 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 Pearl comes well, in and. You guys th- got to come out here and do a reunion show in San Francisco. Yeah. Nobody would go. All our fans are dead or in the home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should do it before I. Before I die, which could be anytime soon, you know, I I get up every morning and I feel the Grim Reaper over my back, you know. Going, well, not today, well, but it's coming com- soon. More combined years there than a Rolling Stones concert. Well, Where? I mean, it really. Everyone, you know, everyone wants Alex to do the reunion show. Molly said we could do it at Cobb's. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, maybe we maybe we just will, you know. I mean, uh, they want to fly me in and put me up somewhere. I'd be more than happy to do it. But until then, it's just a pipe dream. Rats talk, say man, talk. I want to say yeah, talk, say man. What do you mean? You can't drive. You can't drive from Vegas. Not my car. Oh, okay. <laughs> my car. My car's like Mr. Magoo's car now, man. Because <laughs> you just we're, I'm just okay, driving around town. If I break down, really, what you do is you just it's go, a long you, ass drive. You, you just go, it, you just go up to Reno and turn left. You know. And then, uh, there you go. Yeah, you go to Reno area. for 10 hours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not my car. I wouldn't trust my car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you, 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 would, uh, you would like it. You would like it, Bubs, in, in, in Las Vegas because there are lots of hookers. You know. Oh, they're all over the place. Nah, say. Yeah. Um, I took a girl to Denny's. It cost me $750. Nah, say. <laughs> never rains in Vegas. I'd love that. There are what? 
It never rains there. It's cool. Oh, no, wow. I, I've seen rain since I've been here maybe once, and it snowed a little bit once so uh, last year. I, but I, I just I like it here. You can't, it does, I like it here. I, I never thought it snowed, it. yeah. Hmm. And uh, I get to see all my friends pass through town if they're not living here already. It's great, and they use the older comics, which is good. You see a lot of and great and what, old, what older it's comic you don't thing. get to see pass through town, you see pass. So, you know. It's, there you go. It's, That's right. It's, it's good. That's right. Hey, listen, this is a reunion made in some kind of heaven or hell uh, between... A reunion uh, made in Temecula, ah, yes. Larry Bubbles Brown and uh, our good friend right Stephen here, right here. Jamming again for the first time since uh, the punchline where we got grossly underpaid. Yeah. Anyway... We, we uh, should have been in Howard the Duck. <laughs> and we... <we're, laughs> with that, we'll call it... Monty got a SAG card. I guess that worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. This has been great, guys. Thank you. It's been fun. Thank you, my friends. Good to talk to you. Still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there is Larry Bubbles Brown and Stephen Pearl together. Uh huh. I haven't had that uh, combination in uh, quite a few years, actually. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, sorry we weren't on last night. Uh, a little explanation, I suppose, would be due. Uh, but uh, let me first get the Skype lines open, okay? Uh, and uh, uh, let me see here. I'm going to open them up here so that people can, can call me. Uh, we had a little problem last night. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, well, I'll explain it once I get some people on here. I'll just explain what went on. I mean, it was it was something that I couldn't continue uh, without fixing, and uh, uh, we fixed it. Uh, well, we didn't. Well, I fixed. Well, I'll tell you the whole story. Once somebody, once we start getting some callers in here. I, if I start telling you, well, I can start telling you, but then somebody will call, and I, you know. Last night, my uh, I have a oh there we go there's there's Phil already so you see I I, I can't uh, I can't do it yet uh, let me see here let me let me uh, go uh, to uh, Phil let me wait a minute, let me get Phil here uh, in uh, uh, the uh, and and Josh is calling I'll answer the phone there so first of all oh a scuba diver okay there we go. And then uh, let me see here, Josh. Oh wait a minute, Kathleen's calling. God, this, uh, slow down! I got I'm 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 too old for this speed. Let me see here. Uh, uh, then uh, let's see here. We get uh, we get um, uh, Josh Wheeler, and that's okay. And then we get uh, uh, Kathleen, which would be uh, let's see, what would her her thing be? Her name is usually is uh, Bobby Kazoo. Q- 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 all right, all right, okay, and uh, there we go. There are some of the uh, people on our citizen panel already. Uh, this is funny. I can't. I I, I can't get you guys. Uh, I've got you guys here. Okay, so let me just uh, change this. Okay, to that. All right, we got that. But it's funny on the uh, on the uh, 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 Skype screen. I can only get uh, one of you, and that's Phil, because the rest of you are not uh, on the. Uh, uh, I can't drag down to the uh, to the thing. Isn't that strange? So I, I only get one of you in my in my frame. So, but I can look here. It doesn't matter. I don't have to look there. What the hell is this though? That I'm not. I'm not getting. You should be able to drag people down, right? Yeah, drag, drag me. Down. You, you drag me down on a regular basis. Yeah, okay. let me see. Here, here comes uh, here comes uh, Jeff. Uh, he would be uh, in the fourth position. So let me get Jeff Steinzeller. There we go. Okay. All right. And I uh, I, uh, um, I I guess I could just go like this, and uh, we we get the. All those people there. Uh, can, do you have like four people on your Skype screen? Yes. I don't. I cannot get four people on my Skype screen. My, uh, 
Blackburn, one in the corner. Huh? My, my <laughs> Skype updated yesterday or last night, so maybe there's a new version. That wouldn't stop them from being able to use it. Well, I use I an advanced think. version all the time, so I don't. Some sort of incompatibility or something, maybe. I don't, build. I don't know what it is, but if I try and drag them down, uh, it won't uh, won't drag down. Let's Early see. on, you want us just to call back see if you get another Skype connection? No, I don't think that's it. I think it's something else. You know, right. um, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong one. I need this. Okay, there we go. Now, wait a minute. What 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 happened to uh, my Gabnet uh, logo? Oh yeah. There it is. Huh? Oh, well, there, there's the Skype and the uh, cabinet oh, thing. Boy, yeah. this thing is not is not working right tonight. Skype name. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Okay. There we go. Skype. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. Hold on a second. You know something? It's just like this week. Nothing works. It's like I don't know what the fuck happened to me. Um... um I should be able to have uh, a Gabnet, uh, let's see here, Gabnet, Gabnet, uh, EFG, Gabnet, uh, uh, yeah. Stationary New, no, 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 Gabnet Icon, Gabnet Composite, Gabnet Composite, Gabnet, I, I, Gabnet Lineup, Gabnet Logo. I have no idea where it went. Oh, well, doesn't matter. It's supposed to be up in the corner there, isn't it? I don't know. It's, it, have these things changed on me? Uh, let me see here. I can't figure this out. Was there a red Gabnet logo that you used to hmm? have on the screen? Because all you got is the yellow uh, uh, Skype address and the phone number. Uh, uh, Skype address and the phone number, yeah. And then I usually had Gabnet above it, right? Right. Yeah, and that's, that's the one I can't find. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, who knows what happened to it. Let's see, under desktop, Gabnet, Gabnet uh, name, PNG. Okay, so I go browse, and I find Gabnet name, PNG, and um, uh, I'm not going to be able to find it, all right? You know, Gabnet uh, name, AFG, Gabnet name, see, it doesn't, like logo, swirl, Gabnet PNG, no, that's not it. Gabnet name, no, no, I can't find it anywhere. Then draw it on a piece of paper and hold, hold it over your head. Gab, like, you know. Like wait a minute, <laughs> Gabnet name. Okay, let's see where it, 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 let's see here if it comes up. Uh, Gabnet name, okay, where is it? It's not anywhere. That's strange. That is absolutely ridiculous. It should come up, okay? Uh, but it doesn't. Cabinet name. Hmm. Let me hold on a second. Cabinet. Okay. Cabinet name. Here we go. Cabinet name. PNG. Open. Okay. Now I. Ha there we go. Okay, folks. Ta-da! I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. It went somewhere. Uh, last night I had a problem. What happened was my uh, stream deck wasn't working. That's the thing I use to switch things, like when I switch back and forth between something like that and something like that, okay? And it's a nice little thing I have here that makes it all very easy. So I had this last night, and uh, uh, it, it wasn't working. When I would push it, it would go into like my preview screen here, but it wouldn't do the dissolve like uh, like that, see? So I couldn't get it to work. It was like it had been completely screwed, and I couldn't figure out why. Is so this the I, new one? So I went off the air because, the, I mean... The bigger one? What? Yeah. Is this the bigger one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just stopped the, you know, last time I used it, it was fine. Just like the last time I used Skype, I could get everybody on the same screen at the same time. I don't know what's changed there, okay? Anyway, uh, so I, I called the company that does it. And luckily, I got them at the last minute before they were going to close down their phones. And I started talking with the guy, and he, we went back and forth about it. And I said, you've had an update, haven't you? And he said, yeah. 
I said, mm. I think it's the, he, he had me try a whole bunch of things and nothing would work, okay? And then I said, I bet it was the updated. Do you have anything online where I could go use the last version of it? And he said, sure. And he led me to it, and then I installed it. And it worked just fine. What it turns out is their new uh, uh, software fucks up anything that's a Mac. I did it on my other machine, too. Is it the, uh, uh, are you running the new operating system on the Mac? Uh, what is it called? Catalina or something? No. No, you're not? No. Okay. It's, mine is asking me if I want to update. And I'm saying no because I don't think a lot of the peripheral equipment I have is set up to run uh, on Who it knows anymore. about that? You know, I mean, I, I had it on this one machine and then I backtracked to my old operating system because it wouldn't let me see the uh, the hard drives on that machine. You know, I mean, it, 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 it seems that every time they do something they think is better, like an upgrade for this thing, right? But it turns out that the upgrade for the Mac doesn't work, and they don't know that. They know now. They know now, you know. And, it, and I went back to my other machine to see if I had the same problem, and sure enough, I had the same exact problem with the with the upgrade. So... I I hate it, okay? I just hate it. <laughs> you know, period. I hate everything about the technology. And then tonight, I'm only getting one person on my Skype screen. I'm getting the little bubbles of everybody else, but I'm not... Maybe if you click on the bubbles or drag... Oh, you can't drag the bubbles down, you I, said. Yeah, that's what I was trying oh. to do, and uh, it just doesn't seem to work. I drag uh, Jeff Stein down here, and nothing happens, you know? What happens if you click on the main picture? If I'm the main picture, just... Double click on it and see if something happens. If it, if I double it click on there, no, no, Nothing, huh? and I can't. Uh, I can't get you out of being the main picture. Well, that's the curse. Yeah, Phil <laughs> Myers. Yeah, curse. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, it's usually that little little tiny icon with the little drop down box that's called screen layout. I what, think. What? what where's know, that? Be, where's that? A little. It's up there. It's usually right to the left of one of the circles. Oh, call layout. It's a real little tiny, I yeah, see. Yeah, all right, layout. all right. Uh, grid view. Well, I have it on grid view. Something maybe is unchecked or whatever. You know, uh, I don't know. Grid view. Jeff, it's those two Speaker little view. Uh, TVs in the bottom and right hand corner. <laughs> grid view. Then Share I, your screen. I, I do grid view. No, <laughs> it, does, it, does, it doesn't. It doesn't change it. What do you uh -huh. ha What do you have it on? Window or float? Uh. Mine is on grid view and float is also checked. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I've got. Hmm. And I'm I'm n nowhere near having anything that works here. You know. And I could transfer you to my supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Do they speak English? Yeah, but this is what oh, I no. you see. This is what I, this is what I hate about. They probably did change something overnight. You know. Yeah. Now, I have a slightly different version of uh, Skype than the rest of you do because I have a, uh, 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 what do you call it? A, uh, I'm constantly in the testing stages of a new version Beta. of it. Beta. Yeah. Uh, and um, maybe that's my problem, you know. Uh, beta know. doesn't work. Yeah. I don't know. So, I, so I have to watch, look at Phil all night. I wish one of you would have called first. Like, Kathleen, if you had called first, I would have had you up here all night, and I could see what you uh, see how beautiful you are this evening. You know. Uh, so. Now you see how beautiful I am. This well, let me see here. Oh, here comes Rob Alfano. What do you know? Yeah. Only but goody. Always. Uh, let me see here. Let me go here, and then let me go to five, and let me go to uh, Rob Alfano. There he goes. Uh, hello to Rob. Hello, Rob. How are you? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah. Wow, well, this yeah. is my first time ever using my iPad for this. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks fine, you know. Good. Got a nice, good picture coming through. And, uh, you know, I all I'm worried about now is that I'm going to get all those bubbles at the very top, and then they're all going to become one bubble, and it's, it's, it's a mess. But you're right, uh, uh, Josh. That thing should work. Okay, but it doesn't. What if I hit window? What will happen? No, that's not it. No, float is what I want. Okay, so I don't know. I give up. 
Yeah. So, uh, but but what happened last night is they their 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 program automatically installed itself its new version and that's what i had between the time i did the show the last time and last night when it was fucked up so i went back to them and i said and so i said to them i said you better let your guys know this thing doesn't work on a mac you know your new program and and the trouble is these technology people am i right about this uh, rob knows a lot about technology people and you know the techies right rob what what about it? Well, that they don't, if you're doing something creative like I am and using it in the way that I use it, they don't have a sympathetic feeling about that. They don't understand it. And so right. they build a program and they go, ooh, ah, and they go over in the corner and jerk off. They're so happy, you know? But they don't say, will this work for the guys who have a Mac? You know, will this work for Alex who has to do a show and that he needs this little piece of equipment, you know? No, they probably just made. Oh well, I guess all the uh, all the things work seem to work right, you know. But they don't use it like we use it. Yeah, pretty much. And that's why they should bring people in, you know, who like uh, like, well, like me, you know, who will just sit there and run the thing until it breaks. But you know, instead they hand us all this other equipment. That, oh, yeah, and this is much better than it used to be. You know, this is the improved version, and it's fucked up. Like tonight, I had to re-install um, uh, uh, the Windows 10 OS because there's an upgrade, some massive upgrade or something. And it's, so far, it's working, but I'm waiting for it to not work, you know? Because uh, they always uh, it, 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 it's fucked up. Just don't, don't go for Catalina, Phil. No. Not until everybody's complained enough about it that they fix every single problem, and that'll be about the time they release the new one, which will yeah, be Topanga I, Canyon or something well, like I, that. Well, I wanted to use my uh, laptop when I was uh, going on the plane, mm -hmm. and uh, I have Sierra in it. So I try to download the American Airlines thing, and it wouldn't download the Sierra. Uh, I had to do all sorts of updates and I haven't put Mojave on it yet, but uh, I'll have to do that. And I don't know if you can do Mojave now that Mojave isn't there. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if that's uh, that's possible. You know. Uh, hmm. Hold on a second. Got to get Kevin uh, in the in the mix here. Let me uh, see here. He would be Hog Rider. There we go. Okay. Because he's a hog riding kind of guy. Hello, Kevin. Howdy, Alex. Hi, everybody. Okay. And uh, 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 Jeff is down in uh, Miami or Florida or somewhere down there, right? Hey, I am in Atlanta. You're in, oh, you're in Atlanta. Why did I think you were going to Florida? I was. Going back. Oh, you, oh, oh, you're going back? Yes. Oh, so you're coming home now. No, actually, I went down to Florida. Yeah. Dropped off my mother-in-law. Yeah. And Pam's sister. Yeah. And then now we're over in Atlanta seeing my sister. Yeah. For a couple of days. And then we got to go back to Miami because it's grandma's birthday. Well, how old is she going to be? 89. Oh, okay. And then after that, which is going to be like Sunday, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. Well, now, th there is Kathleen. You know, and Kathleen and I used to date. Is that the best way to put it, Kathleen? <laughs> huh? <laughs> She's smiling. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I just, I, I, you have to say something. Otherwise, I don't know you're alive if you're just sitting still. I think I you're, die. you're, well, in this world of, of Skype, I think you're frozen. All right? So, anyway. Not frozen. But anyway, what I'm saying is um, your mother is the same age I am, right? Uh, she's 79. She'll be 80 in February. Okay, but we're basically the same age. I'm, 80, yeah. I'm 79 right now. I will be 80 in December. And so I was dating a woman whose mother was the same age I am. That's like my wife. Really? My wife 
my wife's mother is a year older than me. Really? Yeah. Is that awkward? I don't see them very much. They're in the Philippines. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. It never was <laughs> awkward with your mother, though. I, I don't remember her having an awkward feeling with your parents about Not that. Not at all. Nope. Yeah. You know. And but did they mind that their daughter was going out with somebody who was their age? No. Oh, okay. it's different. When I think it's I dated a girl once who was nineteen and I was going to be thirty, and um, her parents hated me. Really? Hated me. Really? They pulled me aside and said, "What do you want with her?" I said, "Hey, look, I met her. She came up to me." And I don't want anything from her. I just, just, we met and uh, there's nothing going on here. It's not, you know, I'm not looking to take advantage of her or anything. Right. But it was really, they basically, and I told her, I said, look, you know, your parents are just not happy that, uh, you know, I'm, you know, it's a difference when you're 18 and 30 as opposed to like yeah. 50. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's different. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I just, uh, I, um, uh, what the hell you know i just uh, it, it never it never bothered me you know no. because i never thought about it in those terms yeah you, know? well, you were lucky you always left before the police arrived yeah well, uh you well, know I, I, <laughs> they call them but it takes a long time for them to show up i never i never went out with a woman whose parents referred to me as sir okay so uh when that happened, I would, I, and I also said, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, didn't I used to say to, you, I say to you, Kathleen, that I will go out with you as long as nobody ever comes up and says, and what will your daughter have? Yeah. <laughs> I said, the day that happens, we're through. You know. Um, um, I, well, you, I had a, um, a girlfriend who I think was actually younger than you in relationship to my age. Uh, and, and occasionally I would get that, like, and what will your daughter have? And I go, she's not my daughter. I'm fucking her. Okay. She isn't. Huh? That would have sat well with that girl's parents. It, it, well, no, uh, her parent, her parents, um, her, her, well, her parents hated me. I think her mother hated me cause I was Jewish. Um, Terrible. her mother was Greek and Greeks traditionally hate Jews. I don't know why. What did we ever do to the Greeks? You know, they hate everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, um, I don't know about you guys. Uh, I didn't watch much of the impeachment hearings today. You know, I know that Rob didn't because Rob's avoiding this altogether. Right. I was traveling today. I'm, I was traveling today. I've been. I'm in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, oh wow! I go here comes Tony. So now I got to add Tony to the group. Uh, hold on a second. Can I get Tony on here? I don't think. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There's Tony, and I got to get to my eight. Uh, my the, the, my other thing. Okay, here we go. There we are. There's Tony. Okay. Hey, Tony. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. Just, yeah. I was just watching some, uh, this, this, uh, uh, is Rob there? Yeah. I'm here. Rob, what do you think of the Astros with no. the stealing? I was just watching Alex. They were stealing the Astros. They are using Astros. I watched a bunch of clips on YouTube and you hear them stealing the signs with the sound. Yeah. It's so it, obvious when you look at it now. What, what's this? It, it, listen to this, Alex. The Houston Astros, right? The yeah. baseball team yeah, in I know. 2017. I, I know. And probably till now. They set a camera up, I think, in center field. And it must have yeah. closed in on the catcher when he puts his fingers down so they mm -hmm. can see yeah. what the good what the next pitch is gonna be. And let's say it was fastball, then he they would zoom in on it and then they would play like they would bang a drum once, and that means it would tell the pitch the hitter, you're getting a fastball. Yeah. What? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah. So yeah. They, really, they they were they were snoggling this whole thing. I mean, they were yeah. really. Yeah. I just Straight up cheap. It's, it's, it's not it's, this year. Not, supposedly. Seventeen. Only when they needed it. And I, and uh, which one called Rob? I looked at the Yankees when they played them those three games. Yeah. Remember the Yankees had to learn how to win on the road. They lost two. They lost one run games. You never know what, how it affected. Uh, how it, how, you know, how it, we lost 2 1 in the seventh game. They were stealing. Well, wait a minute. Now, hold on a second. 
so somebody just figured out how to do this a couple you, of years oh, ago? Oh, no, it was, Alex. They His old employee it. got fired, and I think he, uh, I don't know if he got pressured, but he gave them up. Yeah. Are well, they going to get fined? He got I don't know. It's so obvious when you look at this, Alex. I'll say in the clip. Did you see when the ball went in the dirt? That was an off-speed pitch. Where, the, well, where, 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 was the, where was the camera? Center field. Center field. I was what kind of camera? But it, well, it wasn't in center field, was it? Yeah. The camera yeah. was in center field, and it was trained in on the catcher's His thing is the catcher's legs where he gives the signs. Right. And they, they had a, a closed-circuit camera right neck in the tunnel next to the dugout with a monitor. And any time it was an off-speed pitch, they would bang on something. They'd bang a drum. So, in other words, they were the they were shooting him. from the from the dugout to his it, between his legs or whatever. Yeah. A center field camera, a center field camera shooting directly into the catcher and that that camera had a they had a, like a little closed circuit monitor that was in the in the dugout in oh, the tunnel. I see. And they banged the drum? They banged the drum, and that was the sign for the guy in the batter's box. You know what this reminds me of? This is, a, this is a great story. It's very similar to something else. In England, there was a big uh, scandal about somebody who cheated his way to a million dollars on who wants to be a millionaire. And I can't remember how they did it exactly, but somehow... There was the some guy was able to communicate with somebody in the audience, oh. uh, and you know there are only four answers there, and so it was a question of all of a sudden they'd hear somebody cough in the audience. Yeah, that's right. That's, oh. And it was and it was, he's like coughed twice if it was number two, yep. or coughed <laughs> four times if it was number four, and yep. yeah, and that's how he won a million dollars. And they it's could crazy. never figure out how he cheated, except they, they then went. The guy back in, in the seventies, remember the game show, the Whammies? You know, you know, oh yeah, 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 I used to watch it again. Yeah, yeah. Mama, with the board that went around, and you would stop. Yeah, and a guy figured out. A guy figured out. He stared at his TV, and he figured out the patterns, and he knew how to beat the system. Really, that's pretty yeah. cool. Wow. Wow. Well, anyway, so the Astros, thing. what are they going to do about the Astros? What are they going to do about all the games I don't know. No. What do they, they do with these guys? I mean, you're talking a lot of money here because now these yeah. games could be legally bad. Well, you see, MLB it is MLB is doing an investigation right now, and um, they'll have to make a determination. But, I mean, with the silly fines they give out today, think about the amount oh. of money the Astros made by winning oh. the world championship. Yeah, that's a couple of years old, yeah. So... When you think about that, you have to really hit them where it hurts, or it doesn't matter. They'll keep doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, do you ever for a year? For the well, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Uh, really Kathleen, what were you saying? I said ban them for a year. Yeah. Well, I mean, more than that. I mean, it's become it's become it's become permissible to cheat in today's society. Were, it's like Spygate. Spy weren't the weren't the yeah. aren't the players complicit in this because they have to I'm know what the drum answer, means? Can you imagine if you were a baseball player, I would not go along with this. Well, here's what happened. The the you know, team I want to get in the whole thing. Move. Players move like crazy today, right? What happened is this guy Mike Fryer, is that his name? He's on another team now. Mike Fryer is with the A's, yeah. Yeah. That's right. And and his team was going to play Houston. And this guy figured, you know what? I'm going to tell my teammates. Well, one guy tells another guy, tells another guy, tells another yep. guy. And and that's how it gets out. Look, I'm, I'm no longer with that team. And I don't want I want my team to to win. So he yeah. told them, you got to watch out because these guys have a camera in center field. And yeah, he brought it up. It yeah. Out. That's how it came out. Well, but, but, but all I'm here, saying right? is, all I'm saying is, the players had to be complicit because they had to know yeah, what the they drum meant. Yeah, off at that Yeah, you know, it's one thing to steal singles if you're looking at with your eyes, but if you're setting up a camera and having a whole thing, I mean, come on, this is a little. Now, much could they only do this on home games? Because yes. yeah, yeah, because they yeah. can't do it at Yankee Stadium. Because how they got to put the camera? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The Dodgers wow. are fucking pissed. This I don't they lost the seven two today. Pete Rose got banned from baseball for life for just betting on his team. <laughs> and he had an illness. I mean, he came right. as a gambler. Yeah. And he, uh, and the by the way, by the way, in, in all uh, uh, in honesty with Pete Rose, Pete Rose never bet on his team right. to lose. Right. He bet on them to win. Right. So he wasn't betting that. against the team. 
So well, he so really wasn't doing straight. anything terrible. He was just betting. That's all. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and they're riding his ass to this day. And you think about all the steroids and everything else that's been going on, and they let those guys go, and yeah. they're still riding Pete Rhodes' ass. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, you're a sports guy. What do you think of all of this? I mean, I, I see the Astros got caught, so... I mean, I don't have a problem with uh, taking signs if you come if you can come by it naturally. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's part sign, of the game. Like, sign that's, stealing that's... in baseball has been pretty big as far as like deciphering, you know, all that monkey dancing that the third base coach does for years, and teams will literally pay a guy to sit there or, or watch film of nothing but that and try to figure out when they put a certain play on or whatever. And I don't really have a problem with that. That's, yeah. that's almost like, you know, human it's intelligence. Part um, of the game. Yeah. But you're fun. supposed to be able to switch it up and then yeah. know, throw the, them off. The camera deal, that's a little bit over the top. Yeah. And I mean, the only two problems I th have about is the guy that runs the Astros, they have quite a bit of problems down there right now. They had the problem with the female reporter a couple weeks ago. Right. They have this. They've been accused of this before. And I mean, all I ever heard when Jeff Lunau went down there to run the, oh, he worked for the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are just so great. And everybody who works for the Cardinals has just been ordained by Jesus Christ himself. And oh, <laughs> they're just such class act people. And it's like, yeah, yeah, the fucking Cardinals and all their disciples are just clean as fucking white sheets, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, that shit was probably going on where he came from. It's probably where he got the fucking idea for it. So, I mean, you know, I don't think they'll, uh, I mean, if they're serious about it, they'll take something from them that is important. I mean, finding the money isn't really going to change it. So probably what you'll see is you'll probably see a pretty on their international uh, signing money that they're allowed to have. So they won't be able to play in like the international free agent market for like Japanese players or Cuban players. Yeah. And then if they were really serious, they'll take uh, draft picks. Right. right. You know, right. and if they're really, really serious, they'll take like a first round draft. Like they won't have a draft pick this, this June or something like that in the first round. That's yeah. probably what you'll should see. Happen. If, if it's true, that's what yeah. should happen. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's probably what you'll get. And I, honestly, I don't know how much longer after all this Jeff Lunau can hold on down there. I mean, if they were smart, I think the Crane family still owns him. They would just say, you know, he's had all these problems lately, and now we're in this mess. We got our two World Series out of this guy. Our roster's in good shape. You know, well, they here's, here's, here's eight and a half million dollars. Why don't you go suck a dick? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's probably how it'll go, you know, but maybe he might survive. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And, and then on the on the Pete thing, I mean, good Lord, I'm from Cincinnati, so, I mean, let me tell you, I've heard Pete Rose since I was, you know, mm. a little kid. Yeah, I mean, Pete's a terrible human being. I mean, he really is. Pete's a fucking piece of shit. But did he deserve <laughs> what he got? No. I mean, but that doesn't have anything to do with like, you know, like they were saying, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. MLB seems to have had some kind of vendetta against him. I mean, they really have for I think yeah. it's, decades. I think mm -hmm. it's a change in society that, that, you know, he got caught in a time when it was bad yeah. cheating. Today, cheating yeah. is, you know, it's okay. Our society is okay. <laughs> So, yeah. well, but why is why is why why, 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 why why is cheating okay? Yes, Jeff. Well, we got to remember that gambling used to be totally illegal, yeah. except for what Las Vegas, right? Yeah, well, your local bookie. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to tell you something. It's a sad state when you. Can, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. It's a slippery slope when you can legalize you can legalize sports betting in Jersey now. Because right. you know what? Whenever you start bringing gambling into the effect. Even as DraftKings, when you're watching the football games, Alex, DraftKings robs us right across the commercial breaks. I'm saying to myself, look at this. You don't think they're going to start throwing games soon with the referees? Well, so, look at, look well, at I mean, the NHL. The NHL is... That you well, you know, there used to be certain kind of advertising that was uh, not allowed on broadcasting. Uh, alcohol was one of them. I, was there one other, uh, Rob, that I, I'm not remembering? Cigarettes. 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 
And then, mm-hmm. well, the cigarettes did get advertised for years, and then we banned cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. I think gambling should be banned from uh, being on these uh, football and baseball it games. It really should. It's because all it does is it, it encourages people to, uh, uh, to abuse it. Well, you, you know, know what they know, Alex? The only way these guys are going to watch the uh, Gonzaga game tonight is if they got money on the game. And they right. know that ESPN brings the ratings in, so let's just run it up. Well, I saw something right. on the air the other day where they were talking about some game or something, and the guy says, how do you feel about it? The reporter and the guy who was answering the question, who was a fan, said, as long as they win by three. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and I'm thinking and, the and only – If not, he's not wait even this week. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. Look at now. They got the, the Vegas uh, Knights in hockey, and they're going to have the Vegas Raiders. There was never a sports team in Vegas. Now that's there's right. going to be two, that's and then more. That's bad. Is it baseball? The hockey's in there. Vegas? Yeah. Did you want to say uh, something? I don't know, but probably. Phil, did you want to say something? There's probably a semi-pro down there. I, I you know, I don't really. I think I like uh, baseball less than Alex likes sports, but I just want to know one thing. Tony, are you still playing my three numbers? <laughs> and, then, and then I win? <laughs> well, give it to me. I'll play it for you. What would you do? 275. Uh, let me write this down. Uh, my police ID. What is that? The numbers? Yeah, no. The numbers? You're playing the numbers? Yeah, he With puts the- a buck. He does it for his mother, so he plays for me too. And, and who? Where does he? Where does he? Where does yeah, he? Yeah, what a real bookie, a bad I, man. No, I, it's the pick three. I will play for you. I, I promise. I'll show you. Pick it three. Points. I thought you were going to a store and you were talking to some guy in a candy store. Yeah, playing it's on, my numbers. It's right up the block for me. Yeah, but okay. I don't go to him anymore because he sold the store. So now I go to the bakery for it. Oh, okay. The guy in the, the bakery. bakery bakery's the good. Machine. So I have my donut and I sit in the back and talk. Now, how do they <laughs> figure out the numbers for that day? It used to be like. It's attendance, I think. I play the night ones for me and my mother. They have it midday now and night, but I only go night. I think it's the published attendance. 275? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's the last three numbers of the attendance or something. Yeah, and then how much do you win if you're right? Uh, you never win. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute! Somebody's—that's why I'm playing with Tony's money. If they only have three numbers, yeah, if they're, they're, it, it, there's a one chance in a thousand that you'll be a winner, right? I want forty bucks in six months. Yeah, but that's playing a dollar a so, day. I'm a so, loser. So yeah. tell 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 uh, uh, Alex uh, what what the deal is. I thought it used to be. Uh, the attendance, but uh, well, I don't Alex... know how they do it. You said that to me. I never understood how they. I just thought they just pull it out. Like by, uh, by there's no like pulling out. Yeah. Oh no, it's on TV no. at night. There's no you... pulling out. What kind of on TV at <laughs> night? I thought you were have a playing lady. with a bookie. Le- Yolanda Vega comes in. They do it like between Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. No, it's some other one watches. Their numbers on. I got. I don't care. Yeah, I, I thought it was part. some Italian guy with a yeah. with a no, paper bag, and uh, you put the slip Louis. in. You give him the dollar. Yeah, no, Louis. Louis down there at the bakery. The Louis. <laughs> yeah. Give the money to the wife in the brown envelope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Carlo at the bakery. This is for Phil. He lost again. Where's my money? <laughs> I don't know. He lives 3,000 miles away. Don't tell I'm me. going to break yeah. your legs. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, you don't know who the winner is. He could just take your money, and you could have won $1,000, and he's walking away uh, with it. I, I'm sure the numbers, you, you could find him in oh, the you could find it out. I, I don't like trust him because, to begin with, his name is Tony. All yeah, right? That's true. That's true. You know. it again. Yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. I never yeah. placed an illegal bet in my life. Are you Italian, Tony? I am, yeah, but I'm American. I'm not a guinea, Alex. I don't speak. <laughs> oh, I used to tell that to my friends. Oh, <laughs> you many guys. No, I'm an American. I'm not hanging yeah, sword. Yeah, Mag- Magno would be Italian, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. My could be Greek. It was also the name of a screening room in in New York. They had the Magno yeah. screening room. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! I wonder if it's family. Do you room. remember the Maybe Magno screening that. room, uh, Rob? What's that? Do you remember Magic the Magno Jarell, screening room? It's where they used to screen a lot of the films. My grandmother worked I for the dresses for the plates. I know that, but that was like 40 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 years ago. So before. anyway, uh, let me see here. So uh, uh, enough of betting, enough of sports. I'm, I'm surprised about that whole story. So uh, did anybody uh, here watch the proceedings today? A little, little bit when I was eating yeah, lunch. I watched it in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and I listened a little on the radio, but, uh, you know, uh, 
the funny thing about these kinds of hearings, mm-hmm. you ever see on Facebook where you see this thing that says, is this dress gray or is it blue? And it's like some people see it one way, other people see it the other way. And that's exactly what's going I on. I don't think that's exactly. I don't think I, I would disagree case. with you. That's not the Trump's way in the situation. <laughs> that's because what? you see it as gray and I see yeah. it as no. blue. No. no, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's more yeah. important today to be right than it is to do the right thing. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's what the big thing is. It's more important to be right. And everybody needs even to if be you're not right. right, even if you're not right, you're right. right. You know, <laughs> Did Everybody's you, claiming the right position. Uh, did you see it, you Kathleen, go. or were you just petting your pussy at the time? I saw a little bit at work during lunch. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't know. Is there something wrong with me? I was bored by it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even catch the tails of it. What the, I saw that guy talking with the glasses. I didn't know, you know he was yeah, like going I, in circles. Yeah, guy I'm, with the glasses. Get to the point. I mean, yeah, you know, I. <laughs> What guy? <laughs> They're all we got class. From, uh, from the distillation that I've seen, and I watched Fox for the distillation, oddly enough, uh, I, I think probably our president is guilty of sin. But that doesn't matter. I mean, I, I you know, I just I just think this whole thing is it, it's it's all process, and process bores me. Get down to the nitty gritty. Hold the fucking vote and peach the motherfucker. Yeah, you know? can't they just take it right to the vote already? Yeah. Let's yeah. just get right to the climax. Let's yeah. not beat around the bush. We have bush. to do this death by a thousand if it's cuts. Real. Is it going to last a long time? Like another? How many, how I many think. Days didn't they go? say that they probably Christmas. will have the uh, the? Because um, uh, my mother was mad. No price is right today. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> she won't be Seriously. getting it for a while. She says, "Turn the channel." It's as much it's on every network. It's yeah. on every network. Is Chuck Willery the one that just got uh, uh, is no longer be uh, going to do the Price is Right or whatever it is uh, because of his conservative uh, leanings? What? No. Uh, I think it's Chuck Willery. Yeah, uh, Chuck Willery, right. maybe, but he's not on The Price is Right. The Price is uh, oh, right I don't is, watch The Price is Right. The Price is Right is, is uh, Carey, Drew Carey. Yeah, Drew, Drew Carey. Carey. Yeah. Well, he, but I, I think Chuck Willery. Uh, Willery. Willery. Uh, hmm? Willery? He's an old man. He yeah, he's an old man, but uh, he uh, he's saying that he can't, uh, he's, he's not getting any work and he got fired or something. That's the reason why he's not he getting any work because he's, he's old hat. You know, he's. Yeah, well. He, the parade no, is, uh, it's like me. The people are going after him and saying, don't buy the products that they advertise because. But he he's hasn't a, got a fucking a show. He hasn't got a show. Well, what, not what? anymore because, uh, you know, he got pushed out. I, I, he's been out for a while, hasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, been. Well, a, I don't know. I saw him this morning on uh, the news. He was talking about. Him. Well, he's, yeah, probably, he's probably, been out for a while. He hasn't worked for a while, and I don't think that's the reason why. That's what he said. You know, I think the reason why is the parade has passed him by, much like it has with me. But I don't sit around saying nobody's hiring me because I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a uh, right wi- left winger. You know, uh, I don't want to change the subject, but your uh, but they got interview they with got... Steve, Stephen Pearl and, and yeah. uh, Larry Brown yeah. uh, was was excellent. It, it reminded me of your old days, uh, yeah. not Camel, but on yeah. uh, Live 105. It yeah. was uh, it was very good. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So anyway, so where was I? So, uh, uh, you know, I... I it, you know, I think that uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. You know, uh, and I think that once it uh, once it plays itself out, I think he's going to look a lot worse than he even looks right now. You know, so uh, but matter. what what did you say, Rob? I don't think it matters what it, what he looks like. He's going to get away with all of it. Really? Yes, because they can't because get him on. Republicans he's are in guy. charge of the Senate. It doesn't matter. No matter I think they're what pushing he it did, all to Sondland. They're going to vote against him. You put what? They're pushing all what to Sondland? Uh, I think Kevin. they're pushing it all towards Sondland next week. Okay, yeah, yeah. Trump's the new those, Teflon Don. He yeah, is. Those, those two guys, the two guys today were pretty good. They were they were well spoken today, but it was all the same shit. You know, they just pretty much repeated the same shit every, all day long, well, except the, the that one uh, hearsay thing that uh, uh, the ambassador came up with with another 
another conversation that happened, but it was all the same stuff. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is that you, these these guys had a pretty good reputation. I mean, they, they had, had a, a good pretty, reputation, and yeah. they spoke well. You know, they didn't get yeah. they didn't get tripped up at all. And the one guy pointed out, he said, "I've been under uh, five different uh, administrations, uh, three of which were Republican, and two of which were uh, Democrat." He says, "Yeah, that's I, what I, they accused I don't them of any... being a no uh, no Trumper, Never yeah. Trumper." Yeah, and Never then they Trump. said he, they asked them, "Are you no Trumpers?" And they said, "No." You know, yeah. no, we, yeah. you know, they, we, uh, we don't know which way they were actually. They may have been for Trump until this thing happened. You know, yeah. so well, he worked for three Republicans. So yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, it, it, it was a, uh, uh, it's, uh, it, it, but it, 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 it's just, I'm wondering how uh, to begin with. I want to know why we have so much coverage. You couldn't go anywhere on the dial and not see the hearings. I mean, yeah, exactly. uh, are you going to watch NBC, but you're not going to watch MSNBC? You know, why does it have to the be The only on reason both? you do that for is the after shit. I mean, you know? let's face it. Days of Our Lives only has a f about six months left. I know. You know? Really? Yeah, they suspended that today, right? Well, there's really? something going on there. They yeah, fired. they said they suspended they, it. No, they fired everybody. Whoa. Really? The whole crew, everybody. Wow. Days of our lives? Yeah. What, what are we gonna do? Man, man, my life is over. I used to I used to watch that every day. I Come on. Shadows, when I was in San Francisco, too, that was my yeah, great I used to watch Dark Shadows. I watch it on I'm watching it on Amazon from the beginning. Uh, I used to watch it when it first came out. It's oh, pretty good. Actually. What? Shadows is on Amazon? Barnabas. Yeah. Oh, Dark, Dark Shadows. Shadows. I mean, that that um, show sucked. You check it. Uh, I, oh, I like that show. Huh? It's, I'm it's watching it before the vampire. Love Dark it, Shadows. Right now, I'm on season yeah. three. Days of Our Lives, I watched, and and and, uh, but it, they have fired everybody on the show. The show, however, has six months of shows in the can. Holy, Holy shit! That's shit. a long time. Yeah. Which one had Susan Lucci? Well, that, that was, was uh, uh, all my children. All my children. That's gone. Yeah, I had a crush on Susan that's, Lucci. That's gone. Um, uh, what is left? General Hospital. General Hospital and the one on CBS. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Do you know it, to Kathleen? Kathleen, never, you've never been a big soap opera person, have you? Actually, it's funny. My mom and I were talking. I was telling her. Uh, so my senior year, my mom was working as a nurse. So during the summer, I'd watch all the soap operas for her. And then when she'd come home... She, we'd sit out on the porch, and uh, I'd give her the abridged version of all the bullshit that was going on. <laughs> I watched you one, one life to live, um, General Hospital. God, I can't think of the other one. Uh, the, With Victor uh, Newman and Nikki. Oh, yeah. uh, by the way, the the uh, Young and the Restless is the yes. one, the other one that's on. Oh, right, right, right. My mother used to watch General Hospital. I just came home from school one time. She was crying because one of the characters died. I thought it was a family. I have, yes. <laughs> She's watching the TV with Kleenex. <laughs> I said, Ma, can I watch my show before? She had to tell me everything. I used to tape it. Yeah, well, I... You I only had one TV? Shit, it was in the hanging a cliffhanger. Well, what kind of house is this? You only had one TV? Well, we had the big one in the living room. We weren't rolling in dough. We had the... I, I had a black and white 13-incher in my room. So did I. I used yeah. to watch Benny Hill on that damn thing. <laughs> It was an RCA, I remember it, and it was red. The the case was red. I remember it was at the VCR. But crazy. anyway, so so you know, days of our lives. You ready for this? Hold on to your seats, everybody. How many years do you think it's been on? Forty. Forty five. Forty five. It just celebrated its forty fifth anniversary. Wow. That's crazy. GH has been on longer. General Hospital's been around since uh, like no it three. No, it hasn't. No. GH has been no. Around, I, Mother used to watch the black and white one. I know, you know like but so Days of Our Lives was black and white. Days of Our Lives predates GH, I believe. Really? Yes. Well. Yes. Uh, and then you got The Young and the Restless. I don't know how long that's been on. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, you ever see The Fat and the Bald? Huh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, it's a real sexist comment, Forbin Colossus. He writes, Kathleen had a black 13-incher. <laughs> Mine was white. <laughs> I didn't say it was black. Alex. And yeah. Phil's was red. Yeah, right. Anyway, what, what, uh, what, uh, Rob? I got a comment, but I'm going to hold off. 
Yeah. 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 General Hospital was on like 63, 73, 83, 93, 03, 13. That's 50 plus years it's been on. GH. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I know Is it's been on. Is the world since turn still on or did they end that? Was it's GH no longer on longer than Days of Our Lives? Our lives. Like the sands of the hourglass. Oh, yeah, so, think the so are the days of, music, so yeah. the days of our lives. You know what a peanut butter is? Isn't, isn't Victor okay. Conolacus or whatever his name is, isn't that Jennifer Aniston's dad? The Jennifer, uh, uh, well, uh, 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 John An Aniston. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Victor Kuriakis. That's right. Yeah. See, I know this shit. Okay, wait a minute. Hold My wife on just second. told me that tonight. General Hospital. <laughs> Uh, original network ABC. It went on uh, in, uh, I guess, what, 1963? Yes, 63. 63. Okay, now let me go That's back to 50, days. What, let me 55 go, years? Let me go back to days of our lives. Was John Aniston? Aniston. Aniston. Uh, yeah, was he the one in, uh, oh, what was the name of Adam's you're, family? You're right, 65 was days of our lives. Oh, the GH is the no, that was John Aston. Oh. Oh, Aston. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, you're right. Days of Our Lives is not as old as General Hospital. So. My friend used to work on The Doctors in Brooklyn. It's at NBC. He used to work on that show. I heard a great, there was a great story. There was a, a show on radio in the early days with uh, soap operas. Uh, all the soap operas had been radio shows. And then they put them on television. Guiding Light, for instance, was a radio show. Uh, and uh, there was one called Young Dr. Malone. And so they decided to make a TV show out of it, you know, a soap opera, daily soap opera. And they put it on, and one day they decided to cancel the show. And so you know what they did on their last episode to make sure they could never bring it back? Kill the them. entire cast, all the characters, went on a bus ride and it went over a cliff. Oh, yeah. They bring them back anyway. It doesn't matter if they die. They come back. Over a cliff, that's all. They said, back. that's it. We're going to make sure this show doesn't come back. <laughs> and that's Is funny. Dr. Kildare still on? Wow. I can't remember. I, there was this woman I knew, Jada Rowland. She had been on one soap opera. She was very well known, too. And I'm trying to remember what, what soap opera it was. But she was telling me the story because she used to go with Paul Krasner. And, in fact, that was the date that Paul Krasner had that he had to get back to New York for and couldn't stay at Woodstock, so he came back with me. Uh, and, and Jada told me the story about on that show how there was a guy who was a main character on the show, right? And it's, the scene is a plane ride, all right? They're on a plane, and they're talking, whatever happens. And then he, uh, he went up on his lines. Now, these were the days of live television. Oh, and if you went going up on your lines means what does that mean? you 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 can't remember them, you know oh, you've sure. memorized them, but somehow you then have a block. Well, if you're a stage actor, what you do in that case is you simply excuse yourself to walk off the wings, and then you get your next line. And once you've got the line, you're good to go. And then you come back and you do the line, and everybody's happy. Well, this guy was a stage actor, and he's sitting there doing his part on the plane, and all of a sudden he goes up on his lines, and he says, one moment, and he That's gets up, and he walks out the door of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and the director the says to everybody, quick, go to commercial. And they go to commercial, and while they're in commercial, she says, over the loudspeaker... <laughs> The director is saying to the woman still there, when we come back, you're going to cry like you've never cried before. <laughs> and they the wrote him completely out of the show. They said he walked out of the plane and killed himself. Oh, wow. So that was one way to lose a job, you know. So, But uh, they didn't, don't do those shows uh, live anymore, so. In fact, I think what they do is if there's a particular scene, you know how they go back and forth between scenes? I think they do them all in one chunk, and then they do the next couple scene chunk in chunks, and, and they don't do them in order. 
Okay. So. Yeah, so they don't have to reload <clears throat> and move the cameras and do all. That. And they don't have to change costumes and have yeah. the actors. The act, and that's how Days of Our Lives, for instance, can do. You know, be six months ahead. Um, most of the others are pretty much not day and date, but close to it. But Days of Our Lives was always known to be six months ahead of time, what? because it was cheaper to do it that way. You know, so. Anyway, so no timely references to like the uh, the impeachment hearings. So, anyway, boy, we haven't had a good impeachment hearing since uh, Clinton. And he got it. Happy days are here again. Da, 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 da. What what kind of uh, uh, okay? Let's let's do some uh, odds making here. Um, uh, I'll start with uh, with uh, um, uh, Josh because he's good at odds making. Um, uh, uh, chances, chance at first, chances for impeachment. What are the odds? Oh, I think he gets impeached. Okay, so it's it's one. It's what? What would you get? What would the odds be on it? I mean, the House will vote to impeach him. I, I'm a hundred percent. Yeah. What do you think I, about the Senate? I mean, I think removal's up in the air. I don't think it's quite as in doubt as some people think. I mean, I don't know if it'll happen, but I think there are a lot of Republican senators that behind the scenes mm. really can't stand him. I think you're right. but I don't And if anything. the polling moves just enough. If the polling, it, it, somebody you know, said that I heard that if the, if the polling goes below 50% for impeachment, yeah. okay, uh, 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 or over 50% for impeachment, uh, the Republicans are going to start uh, jumping ship. Yeah. You know, because they yeah. don't, they, I can't say that they exactly like the guy, right. you know. Uh, but well, I think there are some who definitely, uh, and I would say more than some, mm -hmm. who, who, who definitely do not. Yeah. I but, mean, but I mean, there are, there are more than a handful who definitely can't stand. But they're not willing to gamble their political futures by going against them at this point. Not quite yet. Yeah. What do you think, Phil? Well, we know that one Republican doesn't like him. What's his name from Utah? The, uh, uh, yeah. What's his name? He ran for president. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Romney. Uh, Romney. Romney. By the way, uh, that's that's Kathleen. She's the long, almost the youngest one here. She still got all her brain cells left. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, uh, I got a feeling that if it actually comes to a vote in the House, that there are thirty-one uh, uh, congressional seats that were in uh, uh, Trump districts that Trump won big. And I got a feeling if they're going to represent their constituents, they may not vote for it. So there's there's a chance, even though they're going through this dog and pony show, that when it comes time to actually sit down and vote for impeachment, it's questionable. Uh, I don't believe that. Uh, I think they need 19 uh, senators uh, in the Senate to vote for impeachment uh, in order to remove, so uh, to convict. So I, I I don't see I don't see that happening. What uh, happens this, if what happens if they do vote? What happens to the to the Republican? He can't run for president again. What happens? Uh, technically, he can run for president, yeah. unless yeah, unless the Senate expels him from eligibility for office, which would <clears throat> only take a majority of fifty-one. So, which so, so in other words, they could wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They could impeach him. They can be thrown right. out of office by the Senate, yeah. and then he, he could still could run for president again. I doubt. I doubt he would. Uh, yeah. if, they, if they threw him out, if they threw him out, I doubt he'd run again. Yeah, I mean constitutionally, yes, but like I said, unless they, but but the Senate has the power to bar him from holding public office again by a separate piece of legislation, and that particular piece only requires a simple majority, so it would only take fifty-one votes. So I mean, is the the scrambling that goes on yeah. behind the scenes for who the Republicans uh, put up against? They the I think they put up Nikki Haley. Really? Yeah. Matter of fact, she's even talking about uh, a possible run. What for head really? for head cunt? No. 
Uh, she's she's pretty good, and she did a good thing in South Carolina when she took down the Confederate flag off the state house after the um, after the uh, church shooting. Knock it off. Yeah. Well. Uh, are, by the way, did you hear, Bob? Did you hear? Twice a day. Did you hear that? Uh, you know, they they have this. I can't remember her name now. This uh, again, another cunt. Uh, this woman that was in the hearings today. She's young. She's a millennial. Yeah. Um, and somebody wrote that that's that's what happens when you when you get yourself a female millennial, you know, they turn out like that. Uh, and uh, he's now being given it's, it was like a commentator, not at CNN or I can't remember where there was a commentator for, um, who got a lot of heat for that, saying it was a sexist comment to make. Uh, but uh, what's her name? Do you know who I'm talking about? No. Um, yeah, she was really snarky today. I didn't like her. Oh wait, not OAC. No, not OAC. No, this wasn't a Democrat. This was a pro- uh, Republican. Congresswoman. Yeah, from New York. New York, or I don't know. I they've got that one. Uh, what's her name? Stefanik, I think. Yeah, that's it. Name. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Yeah, I mean, she's another person that at one time, you know, Nicole Wallace had a spat with her today. You know, basically saying that at one time you were a, you know fairly decent Republican, and then, you know, you woke up one morning and decided to tie yourself to Trump, you know, regardless of his policies, and they, they had a bit of a little well, thing. Well, did, did, Nicole today. Wallace used to be a Republican, or was a Republican. Well, she still is. Yeah. I mean, Josh, just, what's a fairly decent Republican, one that leans uh, blue? Well, I, you'd have to ask Nicole Wallace. I mean, she's the one who made the statement. I mean, I think that her point was... She used to be a Republican, that, and she's not really, you know, like Alex said, that old. But, you know, when she first came around, like many other Republicans in the past, you know, seven or eight years ago, Republicans were the ones screaming that the legislative branch needed to get their power back and that the executive was a runaway train. And fast forward to the present day, and now they're like, you know, they seem to have basically forgotten. All See, that, I think Phil. Know? I think Phil. What he's saying, and it, and it's it it bears uh, it bears thinking about, and that is that I I think that um, uh, if you're considering uh, Donald Trump to be a Republican, you're probably misled. You know, he is yeah. a Republican. Oh. He he's a Rhino. Uh, he ran as Bloomberg. a Bloomberg. Wait a because he saw it as being a Republican. Uh, uh, that there was an opportunity there for him to run for president. But that I think that any real Republican, any real conservative, can't be happy with Donald Trump. Donald Trump said what he was going to do. No, no, that, 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 has, nothing, to that has nothing to do with it. You know, we, we all vote for people who uh, say they're going to do things, and we know they never will. Well, this guy did, no matter how insane some of the things were. Yes, Jeff. Uh, we were uh, having a discussion as to why is it that all of these Republicans are supporting the president? Mm-hmm. No matter how True. crazy, stupid things he says. You know why? I mean, so, wait, Phil. Okay. This is not... Not your turn. Take a break. I, I've been no, 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 he's I've been, been he's been he's been show. he's been very good. As a matter of fact, I yeah. asked him to kind of calm down a little bit. And the other night, he said, "What was I okay?" And I wrote him back and I said, "Yes, you were." And he said, "Well, you know, and to quote my uh, to quote Donald Trump, it was a very good call. It was a perfect. Yeah. Call. <laughs> it was a perfect call." <laughs> um, yeah. Thank Go you. Ahead, Jeff. Anyway, thank you, Phil. I'll say it that. The well, here's what my my. My friend said, because everybody says, how can these Republicans be like that so often, so continuous? And somebody says, well, don't you think that a lot of them got paid? From who? Question. By who? Well, I, I, I don't know if they got paid, but they expect to be paid for the job that they do that they're going to continue to be able to do because if they back Trump, they'll be able to do it. That's probably the thinking behind it. Well, I think there might be a theory that they think they will quasi get paid in the in in the terms of if they tie themselves to him – Mm-hmm. unconditionally in the way that Jim Jordan does 
or you know some other people um McCarthy. he has the power mm. to get PAC money to flow their way when it comes time to run for re-election. Didn't they just find uh, out know. some shit about Jim Jordan? Didn't something just come out on him? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm from, you know, I live 25-minute drive from the campus of Ohio State, and he used to work up there. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so I'm pretty familiar with him. I mean, he's there have been a lot of allegations since the time he was in Congress, and they're only getting worse, that, that there was a male... Uh, I think, I don't know if it was a trainer or an assistant coach or somebody that, you know, basically sexually abused or harassed uh, male uh, wrestlers and other athletes at the time that Jim Jordan was an assistant wrestling coach at Ohio State, and they reported it to him, you know, on numerous occasions, and each time, you know, he, he basically didn't do anything about it. And in some cases, he just out, I mean, at least these are the reports, in some case, or the allegations, and in some cases, not only did he not do anything about it, but he just basically just laughed it off and said, you know, tough up. that's just how the guy is, you know. And, and some of the things, you know, were like sexual abuse or walking into the shower and, you know, masturbating in front of him. I mean, just, just crazy. Aggressively shit. washed himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Matt Crash just wrote Kathleen is the best panelist, hands down. I thought you'd like to hear that, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, basically, I guess because he likes long-haired blonde women, you know. Uh, how long is your hair now? That looks longer than when I knew you. No, it's not as long as when you knew me. Yeah. But it's almost as long, but not quite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, I mean, it, it's just... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, uh, uh, I just, uh, Marjorie was writing me things like, oh, you should be watching this. You should be watching this. And I turn it on and I go, I got better things to do. I think I have some porn around here, don't I? You know, I mean, I just, it was just, I don't know. I, I just, it, 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 just let me know when you go for the, for the, for the money shot. Okay. Right. Um, and when you're ready for the money shot, I'll be happy to watch it, and I'll be happy to be really interested in it. But while you're still tap dancing around the whole thing, uh, I, I just, you know, I'm not all that interested. Kevin, did you uh, find yourself watching it? I was watching it because I had nothing else to do but charge a battery <laughs> for my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it like it used to be where it, it felt like two different hearings when the Democrats asked the question versus when the Republicans were asking questions? Is it like yes, it did. It was exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, like two different uh, hearings. Yeah, well, and it was you know it was the same old shit. You know, well, it, the tr trouble is that it used to be that when you had a hearing like that, sometimes you would get a Republican or a Democrat who didn't go along with the herd. You know? Well, yeah, that's and that's kind of what I what I look for is I, I I wanted something like that to happen, but it didn't. You know, I mean, I would like a Democrat who doesn't go along with the herd just as much as I would like to see a Republican who doesn't. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, but this herd mentality that they all, both have now is is ridiculous. And then I I get insane watching MSNBC. You know. Yeah, because, that, and I was watching Fox like you were. I was watching Fox because at least you had that guy. What's his name? Uh, the, the the Hispanic guy. What? What is it, Cavuto? No, the Hispanic guy. Uh, Ramos? Ra no. No. Uh, Waldo Rivera? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I like you. I like Rivera. Uh, uh, you, know, uh, who, who, you know who I'm talking about. You know, the, guy who, got the guy who got fired from PBS years ago and, and oh, is now shit. over there. Well, he was hosting a show, and he's their only liberal there. And, and he was on with a whole panel who were, like, skewing it one way, but at least he was <coughs> skewing it his way. And, and I found it interesting to watch because I love to hear this, um, this, this world that these people live in. Yeah, okay? I, I, that's what I do is I, I like to hear the other side. Because it's, you know what you know what MSNBC is going to be doing. Well, of course, yes. and I'm tired of being pandered to. I'm tired of getting my yeah. dick sucked by a television anchor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, and and so I, uh, I I really like what I see at, uh, at, at you know when I go over to Fox because it's like I'm going to Bizarro World. Yeah, it's almost, <laughs> it's almost like S and M, isn't it? 
It's almost it's like, almost like being tied up on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Phil, do you ever go over to MSNBC? Uh, no. <laughs> well, that's you, should, a, you should try it. it it's fun. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's like all Trump all day, uh, all the time. And, and it's like, it's the same story. He did this. He did that. Oh, my God. You know, uh, it, 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 at least with Fox, they, they talk about shit. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's like all Trump all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all, so it, they, no, it's all Trump know, all day, Phil. It's, just, yeah. it, it's the exact opposite, polar opposite of MSNBC. It, it is. Uh, not not really. There's other stuff. I mean, you know, like they, what? they have people they interview with MSNBC. Isn't it the same pundits all the time? Uh, you know, the Joe Scarboroughs and, uh, you know, it's, it's the same ones. Well, the trouble uh, is, the trouble is, I find at MSNBC is, is they report very little other news than all Trump all the time. Am I right, right. Uh, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. if they do go to something else, it's because, I don't know, there was a murder, or there was a, a shooting in a school somewhere, and then they go gin that up for about an hour and a half. And it's know. Trump's fault. No. No. Uh, only, uh, only, MSNBC? Oh, not only some of the time. Only some of the Stop time. Trying. It's always Trump's fault. <laughs> well, I think synagogue shootings are Trump's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, parking tickets are Trump's fault. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I got one the other well, day. I'm glad you're finally coming over to our side, Phil. Yeah, so well, this is how it's reported on MSNBC. Yeah. There you yeah. go. See, you're coming around. Yeah, you see, oh, no, no, no. It's just an observation. <laughs> oh. Hey, look, this is my son's pencil. What? That's Trump's fault. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> if, wait, if, wait. if Trump oh. was in office, he'd have a real pencil supplied by the government. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Dozen of them. Uh, talk, talk a little bit so we can see your screen uh, there, Kathleen. Okay. This is my son's pencil it's he's Trump's using. Fault. What? It makes a golf pencil look huge. It's Trump's fault. See, Trump's fault. Yeah. Trump's fault. Yep. You know? Yeah. It's his fault. You know what? I had a I had a uh, a tax guy that used to do that. He'd run his pencils down to about this long, and every time, every year, I'd go to him and and he'd always have that little pencil this small. What the hell's that all about? He's playing a lot of golf. Well, yeah, it yeah it's like your up. son plays golf. I would imagine is what it's all about. What does he use that little pencil for? He's doing his homework. Get him a mechanical <laughs> pencil. Do you use that at school? <laughs> He doesn't use it at school. He uses a life-size pencil. Oh, really? <laughs> then he uses a mechanical pencil, you know, with a, with a seven. Uh, no, because you know what? He, the lead, he always, he hates those things. I use mechanical pencils. Yeah, last time I used one of those things, I thought it was a mechanical pencil. <laughs> it's, uh, you press the thing and it makes the lead come out. Oh, okay, I see, yeah. Yeah, there's a the mechanical. manual mechanical pencil. You know what I use now at work? I use these Japanese pens that are erasable. So when I'm drawing floor plans and I make a mistake, I can I can erase it, uh, and it's a pen. Yeah, but what 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 has it got in it? Is it got like graphite or is it no zinc? Erasable ink. Japanese ink. Erasable ink. Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're going uh, to Japan for your stuff, huh? Why don't you no, get the ones no, that are made in America? From, I get them from Staples, <laughs> and uh, they're cheap. You know, I, I get, you know, like three dozen at a time and uh, they're they're inexpensive. And uh, I use those now instead of a pencil. A mm. mechanic, I used to use mechanical pencils. and They'd be cheaper if they didn't have a tariff on them. Uh, Japan? No, I don't think there's a tariff. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, so I, I for one reason or another, I don't remember the name of it. I'd have to look at the box. But, uh, you know, we just order them from uh, from Staples. And it, it's it's wonderful. I use them once in a while, and somebody looks well, at what, it and what says, are they, what, oh. what, Wait a minute. What do they refer to them as? They refer to them as erasable pencil uh, uh, pen? Erasable pen, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to look at the uh, Staples. Well, website. if I go to Costco, uh, go to uh, go to Amazon. It's Staples has it, and I call call it erasable, pen. erasable pens. Well, erasable pens, right here I, at yeah. Amazon. Oh, okay. What, what's the brand? Uh, Pilot. Va Van yeah, uh, yeah. I think no. I don't well, think the Vansteck. 
No. Pilot has a, a the fri- it might be a pilot. It's the Pilot Frixion. Yeah, that's it. The Pilot Frixion. Clicker, erasable, use. refillable, and retractable gel ink pens. Boy, that's now a lot. from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, exactly. They, they, they work. Uh, yeah, so I'll use them, and somebody will say, oh, well, that's fantastic. Say, Here, you know, <laughs> take that. <laughs> but uh, instead, of, I never use a pencil anymore, and this is much better. It doesn't smudge. Really? Nice. Okay, yeah. well, it sounds like a good idea. You know what I went and got today? You see oh. the lights in back of me up here? See, I, the light over there, if I go, uh, I, I love doing this on the show because I go, um, uh, Echo, turn off studio. There we go. Yeah. See? You see? Echo, turn on studio. There we go. So anyway, that uh, so I got that, right? But the lights up here are like these yeah. candelabra type lights. <laughs> I just got four of them today. That Let are, me show you. That you are, see this that are Wi-Fi. Here? Mm-hmm. You see this clicker? Mm-hmm. Now you don't. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. He got scary for a second. Yeah, it got right? scary. Yeah, but I'm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in. Like I'm going to put him in there, so I can turn on. I'm going to kill I, us all. So I can turn on all the lights at once. How's that, huh? Hot huh? on this trail. I can too. Uh, no, that's. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can make a bad guy with that yeah. voice. Yeah. But Phil, I could turn all. I'm. I'm. Nobody's home at my house because my wife is in Germany and I'm in Orlando. I can actually turn on all the lights in my house now with with Amazon's app. Just go and turn on all the lights. Oh, really? Can't do that with your clicker. Well, that's what I'm doing with. I don't need to. Oh, yeah, but I. I no, <laughs> Florida. But I, I, and I've also done it in the bathroom, in the cupboard, and I've done the pantry, yeah, and I'm doing this here, and it, it drives Marjorie nuts because she doesn't like it. Oh, wow. And that, you know why? Because she's an old fart. That's why she doesn't like it. You know. Be even more fun if you could control the bidet, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, or buy her a vibrator. You and know? sit on top of it. And then be sitting in here going, you know. Yeah, exactly. Echo high speed. <laughs> Echo rotate. <laughs> yeah. Echo send me to heaven. Uh, yeah. Oh no! no that, hold on a second. I don't know that one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I can't. <laughs> you haven't programmed that one yet. Well, see, the thing is, uh, I should say Alexa as the name that I use here because I don't use that name. And I don't use that name because it would mistake my name for Alexa. Yeah. And so I tell it to go with Echo. What? What's the current temperature? Right now, it's 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight. It's 21. That's cold. 29. Oh, 29. 29. It's still cold. Tonight they say it's going to be it's colder than a witch's tit. Yes. Right. With the brass bra. Yeah. Uh, wow. you, you know, if you say something like, is it colder than a witch's tit, then it'll go dunk. You yeah. know, so it doesn't like you to do Will it. Will it really go dunk? Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Um, 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 uh, what is it? Uh, Echo? Is it colder than a witch's tit? Yes. Hmm. Dunk. I don't. Wait, wait a minute. She said something. Hold on a second. Echo, is it colder than a witch's tit? Said yes. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. How cold is a witch's tit? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's Echo. How, how cold is a witch's tit? I'd rather not answer that. Only 29 <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, and there's a picture of a puppy going. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not kidding you. I wish I could show okay. it to you, but would have to pick it up. Actually, what I should do is I probably should hook up the speaker on here to one of my pots here so I can then, you know, ask her questions during the show and you can hear the answer better. It's like the magic eight ball. It's a magic eight ball, yeah. You know, they're saying that these devices listen to what you they say do. and then they it. start sending you advertisements uh, that, you know, if, no. if you're sitting around the house talking about buying a pair of shoes... Uh, I, I was in a meeting today, and we were talking about geofencing, uh, where uh, you're in a store, and uh, all of a sudden my ads will pop up. Yeah. 
uh, if they look at their phone or Google. I'm trying to think, so, how many do Alex will get a witch's tit in the mail tomorrow. One, yeah, exactly. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I think they'll bill I, them for I two have, of them. I have, six, I have six Alexa devices. Wow. Yeah. Well, you need one in every catalog. room so that you can. Like, I, right now, I could turn the lights on in the pantry, you know. Yeah. So if I want to go in there ahead of time, I can just tell turn on the lights. You know. You're like you're like taxi driver that bought all of those. Uh, 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 what's the book? Uh, uh, can't not Canterbury Tales. Uh, uh, what was the book? Caldwell. What? What's his name? What's Catcher his name? in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye. Yeah. Oh. So on taxi, the guy bought all of these. Uh, that was Hinkley. Things of Catcher in the Rye. No, you're, that was You're Hinkley. just doing it with hey, Alexis. It wasn't Taxi Driver. It was Hinkley. J D. Salinger. Yeah. yeah, but uh, in the movie, uh, the guy who drove the taxi, who was that? Uh, oh, that was Travis De Bickle. De Niro, yeah. Tra travel Travis Bickle. Well, was that the name of the guy yeah, in yeah, the movie? Yeah, Travis Bickle. Oh. Yeah. Maybe you're thinking These are names you should remember. I mean, there are names in films that are iconic. Uh, Travis Bickle is one of them, right, uh, Rob? Uh, 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 Norman Bates, of course, is another one. You know, there's, yeah. there's several. Well, we, we know that because Tony is channeling him. Well, Tony <laughs> is Norman Bates. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, Norman Bates before his mother died. Yeah. Okay. She's still alive, I think. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, he, you know, when, when she dies, he's stuffing her because he's not giving up the 52000 a year. Like Something my weekend with Bernie. It's up in the window. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it is, Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> Now, do you have to, you, if, uh, on that, uh, since you're taking care of your mother and getting paid $52,000 or more a year, plus four weeks vacation. I get more than And that. health benefits. Yeah. Can you believe this, Josh? Can you believe this? Um, Is that just the It's only thing? because the wait, Blasio wait, 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 hold on a second. the mayor. Josh asked a question. What? I didn't say anything. Oh, you didn't say anything. Did somebody ask nope, a question? Sorry. I said, is that just a New York thing? I don't no, know. I don't think I don't so. Know. I don't know. It, it, I, it, it, I think in, in most states now, they have some kind of like you can take care of a, a loved one and get paid for it. You know? I see you as a paycheck. Yeah. Right? That's way yeah. more than my wife <laughs> I hug around and I say, every two weeks, you give back to me so much. <laughs> what, were, what, were you, what were you saying, Rob? Learn to cook. That's more money than my wife earns as a, as a uh, dialysis tech. I can't wait to get really? my mother's in an assisted living facility. Wow. Wow. That's and good. Still right? the comics my, out my every day. Is, she the next my day. mother is spending about six grand a month for assisted living. She could be living at my house and my wife could be getting 52000 a year. Wow. That's and you crazy. could be divorced. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, my wife. That's what she's. My my wife's been. In I think it's. I think yeah. it's terrific. I mean, yeah. I think it's terrific too. I mean, we were paying for a private lady twenty dollars an hour to twenty five before I took over the job. I couldn't wait to fire her. <laughs> did you? Did, don't you need some sort of? Don't you need some sort of? Um, Certification. certification yeah. Actually, I asked her that. I need a certification if I want to help another patient other than my mother, which I'm going to get certified come January. I'm going to take. Oh, believe me, night. Tony, you're already certified. I know. Certifiable. Certifiable. <laughs> Just going to verify it. <laughs> I mean, how hard can this be? I'll call you from the class, Alex, but I'm yeah, taking but, no, but, you, but you're going to go it's get safe. the whole thing so that in case your mother dies, you can go take care of some other sick person. Oh, you know what the lady told me? If you ever want another patient for a couple of hours, I said, I don't want another patient. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Now, do you, have to, do you have to prove you work so many hours? Yeah, I have to call in every morning. And then I'll call in during the day so they know I'm here. Like, you know, other than that, that's it. I call into my contact. Are, are you wearing a, a, one of those bracelets on your hey, ankle? No. <laughs> He's in Brooklyn now. <laughs> yeah. I tied it to the bed. Don't worry about it. Don't answer the phone. <laughs> No, I'm, so if I take this class, I mean, the lady says it's like a month or two. Like a, yeah. It's like a, how hard can this be? I said, you know, it's come not on. that hard. It's not that yeah. my wife, my wife has that search. You know what I noticed? All joking aside, I noticed something about myself that I really, I got a lot of patience now more. Like I never thought I had the patience to do this, and I actually feel like I grew as crazy as it sounds. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just laying. I think I feel like I grew as a person. I you mean, seem a you seem happier since you're not stuffing hats in boxes. Anymore. Yeah, it's like I felt like I was just 
like doing like I had no like I don't know. I mean, maybe this if I was getting paid half, I'd hate the job. Me. At least you've got a profession, right? You do it right. And Alex, I roll out of bed. I mean, work. I walk around in my pajamas all day. When I want to go out, I just put my pants on. Uh, you know what I noticed? All of a sudden, I <laughs> it's like I'm living a dream. I can't get over it. I don't have any audio on uh, on. Uh, oh, there we go. Well, I didn't have any audio on the Facebook feed tonight. <laughs> I was wondering if my I was wondering if my iPad was going bad because I, I called it up and there was no audio and I figured it was my iPad. I just I just turned it up now uh, and and there is audio now, uh, but uh, everybody's probably online. I'm sure it says "fuck you, Alex." You know, where, 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 are you still alive? No, that's a, that's not it. Let me see here. Wow. Uh, um, Shit happens and then you live. So that, yeah, I I wrote that to you. Yeah. Shit, shit happens I and then you live. I put it up on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Shit remember happens. The, remember the days when live. shit happens and you died? Yeah. 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 Boy, how times have changed. You know. Um, but that uh, was eat shit and die. Yeah. Well, we know it wasn't shit. shit happens. It was, no, no, it was shit. Shit happens, and then you die was the saying. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So now oh. I've changed it to shit my, happens. My mother always told me to eat shit and die. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, both of them, I think. <laughs> well, yeah. you know. Or life's a bitch, and then you divorce one. <laughs> I probably have terminal prostate cancer. And they're cancer. done that. I, I probably have terminal prostate cancer, so what do I care? You know, so. And then I will eat shit and die. Yeah, uh, well. You know, you can end up living, and then I, it I have really my I have my big biopsy on Tuesday. Yeah, so, yeah. Is there going to be no show Tuesday then? Huh? I probably won't do a show t show Tuesday night. I just rather roll because I'm have to get up so early to do it that I'd be too tired by the time I got to do the show. So I'll take the night off. You know, uh, I won't be in any pain after it. I don't think. <laughs> what do you no, mean? You, you're slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> What do you mean, slightly uncomfortable? Is that like uh, the doctor when he says, this is going to pinch a little? It's going to hurt, I bet. Yeah, yeah, well, at that time, that's uncomfortable. Yeah, so, but it's fine after. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, yeah. they should numb you, right? Yeah, yeah just How go to they sleep early. You know, they, you know, it's only a 10-minute procedure, so, you know, it's, it, 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 it's just, they say it's mildly uncomfortable, that's it. Yeah. I know it's only 10 minutes, but it feels like an hour. Oh, shut up. Well, you, you really... <laughs> He's got some bedside man. You know, I could have had him. I could have waited for it until he got an anesthesiologist in because he gets one in once a month, and I could have had him put me out. But he said, he said to me, you know, it's really unnecessary. You know, well, why don't you take uh, like a Valium or something? And, well, that's uh, what I said. He said to do, mm -hmm. yeah. He said, that'll, yeah. that'll take care of you. He says, no... You're not, uh, he says, I, I, I said, what would you suggest? He says, I think that it would be totally ridiculous, you know. To, Has he to done it? Out. Has he had the procedure? No, done? I don't think so. Yeah, no, so no, no. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Let's trade places. I'll do it if you do it. Yeah, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. They always yeah. say that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, um, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. He's saying yeah. that, just, please. Just Probably wait. Shoot up. Just, yeah. just wait. It really it hurts me done. more than... It, it hurts, hurts me yeah. more than it hurts you. Yeah, yeah. or or or, the, or my favorite is uh, you won't feel any pain. It'll just be pressure. Just yeah. Feel pressure. yeah, that's you the other one. Yeah, you'll feel pressure. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 I, and I always want to say you're right because I went to a drug dealer before I came here, and I'm high as fuck. Well, so. that's a, that's not the worst part. I'm going to have to wait five days for the results, and it's over a weekend, so it'll probably be more like six or seven days. So, because you're doing it on a Tuesday, what do you mean a weekend? Well, because it would take five I days so. to get it back, so it might not be back till a Saturday, you know, and so I wouldn't get it till a Monday because the doctor ain't coming in Saturday saying, oh, Alex's stuff is coming in, you know, so. Uh, do, do your tests get posted on, on a uh, app or something for you no. to look at, no. or do you have to hear it from I, the doctor? I, the doctor always has to, I have like, I used to go to Quest to get PSA tests, okay? Yeah. And, and, uh, uh, I could go online after he told me. Oh, okay. after he told me. Yeah, like uh, blood tests and stuff I get from Kaiser. Maybe yeah. the PSA. Uh, I only got one yeah, so I, far. I don't know why I'm going through this. My PSA went down by a whole third. That's a lot. Yeah, it's I a would, big dump. You know. But anyway, I'll. I'll...
It's because of this 4K test that he says gives me a chance of having a, 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 a Gleason of seven or better. So I'll I'll do it, and there's a 47 percent chance I have it. Who knows? I don't. I give up. You know, just fix me and let's have done with it. Get me, give me that radiation. Let me glow in the dark. You know, put those seeds in my prostate. Anyway, let me say goodbye to everybody. First of all, Phil, thank you so much. Josh, thank you. Kathleen, always a pleasure. In fact, I'd rather see you on this panel than any of these other ugly human beings. Uh, 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 Jeff, thank you. Thank you to uh, Rob. We loved having you here. It's great. Do it more. You know, you're terrific. Uh, of course, Kevin, you're wonderful. And we, of course, love Tony because he's funnier than he's ever been. Everybody... Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizens panel. I will hang up on these motherfuckers. Let me see here. Let me let me do that. Get rid of them, and hang up on uh, uh, yeah, and then get rid of Skype, and then it's all ready for the next show. And the next show happens to be uh, Jack Bishop and the intersection. He'll be taking calls on the same Skype line that we've been doing this show on. Uh, I'll um, I'll see you tomorrow, uh, right after Damien. Hopefully, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, at, he does a show at 9:30, and then I'll be here at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, if you see her, as always, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs>